Hey guys, welcome to another SARS-CoV-2 Omicron update. Many of you would have already heard about the Omicron. This is a video which will explain to you what are the simple steps you can do to protect yourself, whatever the variant might be. So the Omicron was recognized three weeks ago in South Africa by a clinician who found that her patients were presenting with extremely different symptoms. They had scratchy throats, they had severe headache, and they had severe body pain. And she noticed that they were SARS-CoV-2 positive and then when the genomic analysis was done the Omicron was identified now at this point of time all we know is that the Omicron spreads more easily that is it is more transmissible and there is not yet enough evidence based information for us to decide if the Omicron is more virulent causes more disease or if it causes more death whatever the variant might be there are five steps which you can take to protect yourself and your family against whatever the sars cov2 throws at us point number one remember to mask intelligently as human beings we get frustrated when we have to wear a mask for a longer period of time i think our capacity is around four to five hours so mask when you're in public places especially if it's crowded and mask when you're indoors especially if it's a group where you do not know what the vaccination status is. Point number two, vitamin D. Enough can't be said. Make sure that you maintain your vitamin D blood levels at 60 nanogram per deciliter. And it is also okay to take a maintenance dose of 60,000 international units per week orally for a period of eight weeks. Whenever there is a fear of a new variant or when you feel that viral load in your area is higher because vitamin D gives you proven protection against respiratory viruses. Point number three, make sure you keep your oral and nasal hygiene very good. It means brushing your teeth as soon as you wake up and after you sleep. If you go outside and you feel that you could have been exposed to the virus, say it's a crowded place, say it's a movie theater, come back and gargle and clean your nasal passage. You can use any mouthwash which has chlorhexidin for gargling and salt water in order to clean your nasal passages. Point number four, make sure that your sugars are under control and do not stop any medication without consulting the doctor who prescribed it for you just because you're afraid that there could be a COVID outbreak. Medications which you take for daily maintenance of life is very, very important and stopping them might reduce your immunity further. Point number five, regular exercises, do breathing exercises, eat healthy, do not binge eat, try to avoid alcohol and smoking as much as possible because these reduce your immunity and whenever your immune cells are not fully functional the possibility of infection with any virus is higher guys whatever the variant might be let's do these five steps to keep ourselves our family and everybody who surround us safe from the COVID-19 Guys, if you found this information useful, like, share and subscribe so that you get such regular updates. All right, signing off from the beautiful city of Chennai in Tamil Nadu, India, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Mm -hmm.